Hey, what's going on YouTube? Brandon Wolf here with a brand new video. Today, I've got a tutorial video, an updated video of something I did back in 2018. DSLR camera used as a webcam in OBS, which I'm currently using right now. I'll show you guys step by step how to set it up and use it for when you're live streaming on OBS and or recording. So this is newer updated i got an actual pc better specs same camera but newer quicker and easier so follow step by step it's gonna be very simple i'm gonna explain everything if you're brand new hit that sub button like if this is helpful and share to a friend who you may think this will benefit if you yourself are planning on live streaming, recording, you have a DSLR camera yourself, but you don't want to go out and buy a super ridiculous, expensive capture card, Elgato Camlink, etc., then this tutorial will help you right here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you guys see, I got my make of my Canon, Canon EOS Rebel T7i. Just put in your camera make. So just put it in here. All of this stuff is feature specifications just about your camera. We don't need that. We're going to go in this top right corner here, drivers and downloads. Here we're going to go down to the EOS utility, click on it. And here we're going to find our camera. So we have the EOS Rebel T7i. Here we go. So it does take some clicking, but here we have software underneath software. We have all this stuff. What we're looking for is right here, the EOS Webcam Utility 1.1 Windows, which its latest update release was 11.11.20. So we're gonna click on that and then press download. It's a zip folder. I already have it download, but I'll quickly show you what you need to do. Once you open it, we'll get rid of that. We're gonna go to setup right here. Click on setup. And all you need to do is just hit next, next, next. It's not going to show up on your desktop as an application, but it's basically like a background running app. Since I have all of this set up already, I'm not going to uh, basically install it again. But just hit next, agree to terms, everything completely free, by the way. So that's how you set it up. Remember, don't click on any of these. Go down here to the application one, setup. All right, now here we have on my second monitor, OBS itself. Uh, I have my chat and everything as well. Just ignore that. But if you would like to, <laughs> follow me on Twitch on the screen right below. I stream as much as possible. So what we're going to do is press this little plus sign, video capture device click on that let's label it a uh, Canon uh, camera Canon camera okay and look look at the first thing that pops up EOS webcam utility as fast as that as simple as that you don't have to click through this and that you don't have to screen capture it from another monitor it's as simple as that I have a device default everything here and it's as simple as that. We're gonna press OK and boom. Look at that. We, we have the webcam right here. What I can do is right click on the source itself, go down to transform, fit to screen, and it's full screen. If I do wanna make it smaller, I can hold down shift and just crop it into a little corner here. And look at that look at that perfectly centered in the middle right there if you want to know how to like center it either vertically or horizontally like that to be like perfect let me quickly show you in settings just in general right here source alignment snap sources to horizontal and vertical center as easy as that but look at this like I have my face cam here uh, I can I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger to show you how to crop even more so say we have it here say like my bed and stuff like I don't want that in we're going to hold alt the arrows going left and right should pop up when you're on this part of it hold alt and we're just gonna drag it through like that I'm just gonna crop this and then same thing here crop that 
and I I got a square. <laughs> I got a I got a square. Hold shift to adjust the size again. Like that. Like look at that. Perfect. Boom. And I can put it just like that. And it's as easy as that. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect looking. Could even put it in the top corner. And like it's as simple as that. Like that's all I have to that's all I have to say for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If it helps you, please like, subscribe, and share it to a friend. Hope this will help you and benefit you when you're live streaming. Also, another thing I need to add, I I'm not recording anything, it's just a screen capture type thing from my camera to the PC, but the battery's running. So it's taking up battery life. So if you have your individual batteries, it's going to it's going to take away that battery life. I haven't tested out how long it will last if I'm recording or streaming off of one like Canon battery. You could get a constant power adapter on Amazon or Best Buy or anything, a third party type thing for Canon cameras where you have constant energy, constant battery life on your camera. You don't have to worry about your camera dying, your battery dying. So just a FYI, no audio is captured from the camera. It's captured from the mic. So we're gonna turn it on real quick. See how quickly it takes to boot up again. And boom, look, we're back in action. Back in action like we never left. But if it does die, you can easily disable it by clicking the eye so it's not showing. Re-enable again, so. That's that. We're gonna we're gonna transform. Go to fit to screen. Oh well, it's like that because I cropped it. But that's that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. 